Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On with Reese James and Craig Mitch and welcome to part two of this week's 8-bit debate which is quite simply Ben Davies or Danny Rose. Reese is fighting for Ben Davies, Mitch is fighting for Danny Rose. Mitch, you can start again. Go oh it. yes, alright. Because you're losing 3-4, that's why. Alright, for Penel, just stab me, why don't you? Alright, so, Danny Rose made his Premier League debut against the scum, aka Arsenal, and we beat them, and he scored a worldie. What's he done Probably the greatest, hold on, North London derby goal of all time. I'm gonna say of all time. Sky Sports, it was voted the best goal of the season. We went on to win that game 2-1. I don't think I've seen White Hart Lane erupt. All right, maybe against Man City when we beat them 4-1 because I was there. But other than that, I haven't seen White Hart Lane erupt the way it did when Danny Rose scored that goal. We beat Man City it was absolutely right, phenomenal. Hold on. Okay, a point for Craig Mitch because that was a fantastic goal. Who was, who was playing at left back when we when we beat City 4-1? Who knows? Oh, was it was it Ben Davies? No, I think it was. I think it oh, was. what when we beat um, Man City? Yeah. So the, the best game you've ever seen, the most you've ever seen. White no, Hart no, no, no. I never said the best ben game I've ever seen. Left. Don't don't ben twist my words. I never said that. Give us another point. Ben Davies improves Jan Vertonghen. Okay, and that is pivotal. Jan Vertonghen, with Ben Davies in the team, a more defensive player, Jan Vertonghen is able to focus on his own game and position rather than having to cover for the enormous gaps left at left back by an attacking player who originally trained as a left midfielder don't, don't and it shows called Danny Rose. Okay, Vertonghen and Alderweireld, they're able to focus on centre mid because Ben Davies is not bombing up the pitch as much that as Danny Rose. That is not a valid point. Okay, and that is that why, is as a team... Point for Mitch because Reese just called centre back centre mid and uh, I've been counting points against Mitch for getting things wrong. How, so. could that not be, how could that possibly not be a point? How could that not be a it's point? It's not a point. You That's, can't, you can't, you can't say effort. if Jan's better because Davis plays alongside him. The what? It's made Jan's job easier. I think it's He's a, better because Toby plays alongside I think it's him. A, I think it's a point a, a point that has already been earned, really, in that you're saying that defensively and as a team, we're, we're stronger. But I don't think you can say Jan has definitely become a better player because of Ben Davis. What about the fact? <coughs> what about the fact, right? It's that, four. It's currently 5-4 uh, to Mitch, by the way. So, they obviously, it's an interesting debate because they are the same position but they are opposite type of players. Okay. Right? One's more defensive, one's more attacking. I would argue that it's far easier for Davies to adapt to attacking play than it is for Rose to adapt to defensive. What? Right? Defence is much harder to get right and to have natural, whereas attack can be learned more easily. And all he has to do is take more risks, right? You can learn to take more risks rather than having to be more sure and, and be more concerned at the back. So what's your point? My point is that there's more time, because he's three years younger as well, for Ben Davies to adapt his game, become a better attacking player than there is for Rose to become more defensive. You can't minded, become a better attacking player if you ain't got do. the pace, which Ben Davies doesn't have. Danny Rose has natural pace. Him and Carl Walker exactly. both he's have natural pace. Natural ben Davies can't forward bomb forward as a fullback because he doesn't have the Don't pace. Need him to. We got Herman Son forward. on the side now. So, what's that got to do with anything? Well, he doesn't have the pace. We don't need a, we don't need a left back going that Okay, far okay, hold on. I'm going to give you both a point because I think uh, Reese has made a, a slightly valid point about the fact that uh, Ben Davis has got longer to learn his trade and to learn the attacking skills. And you've made a good kind of counterpoint saying that Danny Rose uh, is already more attacking and has kind of, you know, uh, got that in his locker. Well, your your well, turn, well, Craig. Well, it is currently well, yes. six well, points going off the back of your to point, five to Craig Mitch. Going off the back of your point, um, you basically strengthen my point, which I'm about to say, and it is that Danny Rose can not only play left back, he can play left mid. When he scored that goal against Arsenal, he was in fact left midfield. And when we beat Burnley 4-2 in the FA Cup last season, he scored the fourth goal and he played left mid. He allowed what Ben Davies, hold on, hold on. He played left, uh, left back all season for Spurs. And then because we had an injury crisis there, he was moved to left mid and Ben Davis was allowed to be left back for that game. You're right. Then he scored a goal. Can Ben Davis play left midfield? Is he versatile? I'm gonna Can give he? a point to, to no. Mitch for versatility. But what I would say though, and it's only my opinion, is he's more likely, I think, I think Danny Rose could potentially be a better wing back than Ben Davis, because uh, he's better at getting forward. I don't think we'll ever, we'll never play a 4-4-2. So I'd rather he's play versatile. left mid, mate, because he's, he's terrible versatile. at left back. And we should Seven, put Ben Davies five. there, our short defender. Seven, what about five. the fact it's a familiar story? Welshman at left back, who was a rocky first season, has to compete for his place in the team. Then suddenly, a maverick manager brings out the best in him. In a few years' time, we're going to get 500 million euros for the kid. OK, a point to Reese because he basically brought some poetry into it there. Some Welsh... He got a point. Some Welsh yeah. poetry. Wilfred Owen-esque poetry. What? And talking, no, and compare Comparing uh, Ben Davis to our last Welsh Ben Davis Wizards. is part of the most exciting generation of Welsh footballers in history. It is 7-6 okay. to Rick They are making Mitch. history. He's making international history. What's Danny Rose ever done internationally? Nothing. Ben Davis has got experience on an international level. The first Wales team to qualify for 
30 odd years or something. I don't know, back to the future day. Uh, you have no idea. <laughs> and, and that's how down hard to Ben Davis, right? Yeah. Ben that's Davis, not the fact Bell. that they've got Gareth Bale or Aaron Ramsey, you know, playing. I can't give Aaron him... Ramsey, mate. What? what an he's... Arsenal player. What? He, what? So what? He's a good player. I'm not, I'm not biased. I'm a f I, he's a good player. What um, am I going to lie? Suddenly, he's big enough Arsenal yeah, player. Sorry, he's a good player. I've had to give Reese yeah. a point there because Mitch has mentioned a Woolwich player in a Spurs Oh my God. And I bet. Unheard of. So, what is it? Seven or. It's all right, all right, let me go to the back. Mitch, no! Craig Mitch gets the chance to, uh, to put this through his debate. Rigged. This Come is on. fucking rigged. All right, this is the thing, yeah? <laughs> this is the thing. You're talking about international credentials. Seven all. Danny Rose has played 29 times for England's under 21s. And in that time, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he scored three goals. For Spurs. 21 games. For Spurs, oh. he has scored five goals. Do you know how many goals Ben Davis has scored for Wales? Zero. Do you know how many he scored for Spurs? Zero. Do you know how many he oh, scored defender, for Swansea? Zero. Danny Rose is capable of getting goals. Davis can't score goals. That is an extra attribute okay, you want in your team. Reece, a defender that can score Reece, goals. You have the chance to give one more uh, point towards this debate, and then I will decide who has got the winning point. I think this debate's rigged. The goals win debate. games, people. If goals gonna... win games. Yeah, but also not conceding goals wins games. And Danny Rose is mistake. Mistake, mistake. Every all player makes Rose, a mistake. Who are you going to single he has, out? He's made mistakes. He's he made a bit, pretty big mistake when he dyed his hair. Oh, did Esso Oko, your favourite footballer of all time, he <laughs> made shitloads of mistakes. <laughs> and that you've even said on camera that he's your favourite footballer of all time yeah, he is. at Spurs. OK. He's made more oh, mistakes wait, than I'm Danny Rose. I'm not done. I've got another fight. Okay. And you have pulled it out of the back. Hold on. I drew for my wild Hold card. On. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. Stop. It's over. Listen. It's over. I'm going to discuss the last few points right now. OK, it's seven all. Craig Mitch brought up the fact that Ben Davis has played a load of times for the, uh, sorry, that Danny Rose has played a load of times for the England under 21s. To me, that is completely ridiculous and I don't care because in comparison, Ben Davies, you know, has played a number of times for Wales, as Reese mentioned, who have done well. However, amongst that, then Reese mentions the fact that Danny Rose dyed his hair red, which is obviously a bad color to dye his hair. And so at that point, it looked like Reese was gonna win, however, the winning point Got goes another. to Craig Mitch because yeah. Rhys James accused me of rigging the debate. What? Now, I don't know how many debates you've done in your time, but accusing the judge, jury and executioner of rigging it is a point against you. Therefore, it's 8-7 to that Craig Mitch. 8-7 to Craig Mitch. So it's got nothing to do with the, the last point I brought up. nothing to do with your argument, mate. It's got nothing to do with it. 8-7 to Craig Mitch. Craig, you should at least be a bit kinder, I think. What kind of? What do you you just won! Yes, Take the point off him for not being grateful! No, right? I'm happy. I'm happy with the point. But my I last point was ignored. I say it's rigged ignored. once and then this guy goes mad saying he didn't win it how he wanted to win it. Unbelie ben Davies Reece, never says that. Reece, he just likes winning. Defeat, guys, let us know who you prefer out of Danny Rose and Ben Davies in the comments section below. This levels it up for Craig Mitch. They're now level on, I think, That's three like debates minutes. each. Three, yeah. we'll, we'll work it out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Congratulations, Craig Come Mitch. On. We're in the 90th minute now. Stop with the interception. 